They're still reeling from the tragic shooting that took the lives of 18 people. Sometimes in the wake of tragedy, there are no words to explain, just simple yet powerful gestures of strength, support, and love. Two on your side's Heather Lee. She's in Maine this week reporting for our sister station there. She stopped by two growing memorials and shares messages of hope and healing in their own words. My heart is in my heart is just healing and just great sorrow for everybody. It just it just don't I don't know. I'm just really sad. I I don't think anyone around would ever give this a thought that this would happen in Maine. I didn't know any of them, but it just breaks my heart. It just I just can't wrap my hands around it. I don't know. I'm having a hard time understanding. I just went for a long walk and just trying to just think positive things that we could heal from this if we all stay together and I just there's too much of it going on everywhere and you never think it's going to come to your city and here it is and 18 lives are gone. Wherever wherever the people are, are hurting the most is where we take the cross. This tragedy to, for these folks to overcome this tragedy and to spread a message of hope, healing and love so that they know that the healing can start. Just anything we can do for anybody. I'm here to do anything for anybody. It was really important. I just brought a pumpkin that said Lewiston Strong, and I brought another one over to the bowling alley that had hearts. Um, my granddaughter's best friend was in the bowling alley, so it's been really bad. It has really touched the family, and just all of this has touched everybody. We're a small community, pretty close-knit community. Put another pumpkin out here where the rest of them are, and I had put Maine with a heart. Just saying, Maine strong. We need more peace in the world and more closeness um, and just more love.